I'm Justin Apago here in the shop at my 101 year old craftsman style house that I'm fixing up but today I'm not fixing up the house. Today I'm here with my brother Nico Rosso and we just got back from the National Hardware Show. There's all kinds of products there to see and for this one that we get to bring home we're both knife guys. I always have a knife he's got always at least one um, but although I could describe us both as knife guys, Nico is a knife nerd. And so when we got this particular product, I figured it would be best to bring Nico in to talk about it. Because tell, you heard about this knife before we went to the show. Yeah, I'd seen it online as like a new release and uh, there were some things that looked interesting about it, some questions I had about it. So when we walked by it in the booth, I was like, oh, I get to put my hands on this thing. And he floated us a couple uh, demo models, he said, because it's not, they're not, samples. yeah, they're not quite distributing them yet, but we've got a couple samples to take a look at. So today is basically an unboxing and just an initial like what does this thing feel like in your hand. We'll come back with another video after these things have been in use for a little while. So let's let's get started. So this is called the Suiza or Swizza? Swizza? Swizza, Swizza. Don't know. Authentic Swiss knife. And this one is mine. Uh, they gave me the one with the corkscrew on it, appropriately. Yeah, the mine, uh, it's basically the same knife, except it has a uh, Phillips head screwdriver in the same spot as the corkscrew. And they also have one that's, uh, I guess this is the tricked out one. Yeah, they have a few different levels. This is the D04. This is the D03. I guess that's because of the corkscrew. Yeah, there's different levels of just like knife and one tool, knife and three tools, you know, so there's I a, would I would guess there's a D01 and a D02. I'm Probably, just, I'm just and guessing. there may even be a DO five and six. Could be a DO double O. Maybe that's that's we're not qualified. I, I don't know for that. I'm we're making this up. Don't don't look that one up online. You want to talk about a little bit about the well? What we heard was these are made by obviously what we're looking at is a Swiss Army knife style multi functioning knife. Uh, Wegner and Victorinox were two Swiss Army making companies for a long time. Wegner went out of business, was bought out by Victorinox. So apparently these are the Wegner guys in the old Wegner factory now making the Swiss uh, knife, ostensibly a Wegner knife. And that's these guys. And you can see already just, you know, it's it's a different design than the, the Swiss Army, which is this utilitarian. I mean, we've seen these for class 100 years. And Boy this Scout is, looking they're knife. obviously going with the more ergonomic. And then we'll get into when we get closer. The scale material is really one of the bigger questions about this and its utility. But there's also some nice functionality that they're putting into this that this does not have, even on the tricked out model. So there's, you know, there's kind of a balance of what's going to work better for you. Oh, so we should also show who it is that we talked to. Uh, I, I don't know if we said, but Falco is the U.S. distributor for these, and that's who uh, that's who handed the knives to us when we, we met them at the tool show. They hooked us up. All right, so here's a little close-up of here's mine. So I'm going to go old school to open the new school, which is always the question is, how do you open a knife that's in a package with another knife? How did this start? Did I have to nap my own flint knife to get the first knife out of a package ever. When was the first knife in a package? That's a good question. Yeah. One of the knife nerds out there will know. Okay, package is open. So here it is, and this, if you can see, is this kind of rubberized handle scale material. We both got ours in black. They come in blue, red, and maybe more colors uh, than that. But it's this really tactile, nice, it feels good, but, but the question is, what's the durability of this and here's the weak point and the strength which is the curiosity of this knife is when you open the main blade it has a liner lock if you can see that in there which is also known as a walker lock and to undo it you're like well how do I it's that's not really handy to get in there actually you press on the cross icon and that articulates the you can see that it's articulating the liner lock to then undo it so this is a great feature because on this there's no liner lock on this there is but as I articulate this on and off throughout the day working under hard conditions is this rubberized piece is that gonna wear out is that the weak point you know those old TV remotes of yours where the that one buttons worn out and it's just kind of that hard plastic thing right underneath is that what's gonna happen here time will tell but as it is now feels great and that that rubberized 
scale is easy on the hands. I mean, it's not it's not going to slip out of your hand. The old school one isn't slippery, but it is not as easy to hold on to. I mean, it's like it's going to move around in your pocket differently. I don't think it's slippery to a hazardous degree, mm -mm. but this really is a grip. You're holding on to this. I like I like to be able to open the thing with my thumb. That's not going to happen. I don't know if these are. It's got the cutout as if you could. Uh, one actually, uh, and then this might be a function of the scale material too, one really good function of this that I discovered on the packaging is it's dishwasher safe. I don't know if this is, I've never seen literature whether, as to whether or not that is, but the, I love the idea that you're just going to throw this in. So I'll just run through the functions really fast. There's the, the Phillips head, that classic style, which is always kind of in a strange spot, but at least it's there. There's a nice broad flathead screwdriver bottle cap a uh, wire bender maybe stripper depending on how uh, sharp that is but and they all have a nice positive stop to them this one a little less so but uh, here's your can opener and a smaller screwdriver again with these nice big cutouts so that you're you're able to grab these things and go uh, and then this actually the, the all is very nice um, the I love this big bent wraparound piece here so you really can get a purchase on it to get that out and then it gives it a nice spine, so it's got a really nice solid feel to it. Uh, I've seen a lot of people use the awl on a Swiss Army knife and then on this for uh, striking fire flints. Ah, uh, okay. Or Swiss steels. So this, again, you've got the rigidity for that. The ergonomics are great. The, the steel feels good. It feels comparable to the Swiss Army knife. The sharpness is nice out of the box, uh, but it's it's really the durability they handle because I'm I'm really I enjoy the feel of this. Is there a name for this like cutout where you grip it to you know open with your thumbnail? The nail nick. So I like the nail nick the way it is a hole all the way through the blade, but then it continues as just a almost like a fuller. Yeah, also known as a blood groove, even though it's not really for blood because I'm a knife nerd. So that's uh, that's my model of this wizard. That is the D04 in black, basic black. Oh, also there's tweezers. Oh, yeah, the tweezers, oh, here, the tweezers are, so that's a nice, I mean, you really, they're really in there. Yeah. Oh, they've got the, the bevel, hold that up there, a little bevel to them at the tip. So that's, that's handy. That's a nice little pair of tweezers. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah. Yes, they feel good. No toothpick, as opposed to the Victorinox, which I, I do find myself using the toothpick. The okay. toothpick is good. I've never used it as a toothpick, but it's good for ferreting a piece of something out of a screw hole or, or something mm. like that. Did you want to use this one to open that one? Yeah, let's. So now we're opening, opening the D03. It's nice and sharp. Yeah, I mean, it, this is cutting the plastic and the paper without a second thought. Yeah, for for the, the nerds out there, it has a Rockwell hardness of 57, uh, which is which is pretty good. That's right in the sweet spot in terms of usability and then sharpenability. Okay, so this is all the same features as the O4. It's nice. It's, everything's easy to access and easy to open. Now the difference here with the O3, the D03, is the corkscrew, which I feel like the chances of me coming up against a bottle that I want to open versus the chances of me coming up against a Phillips head screw that I want to take out and not having a screwdriver. Mm -hmm. I think the bottle is more more likely for me. So this is interesting because I put this down on my rusty table and the... Uh, it immediately picked it up. Yeah, it's, it comes right off, but... How well this this rubberized finish is going to stay clean is uh, is a question mark. I think at first glance, this by virtue of its design and the nice material, this would live easily in a desk drawer. Yeah. A because it feels good, you'd want to pick it up and play with it while you're on the phone or or whatever. But also, it's going to do everything you need it to do in that space. But the question is, what's its functionality beyond that as an EDC or in the workshop? That's kind of where or camping. Yeah, where we're going to find out about this durability. But right. I'd say that if somebody gifted me this, I wouldn't think, oh, they they kind of cheaped out. Right. Not at all. It's well made, solid, functional. I'm digging it. Yeah, it, it's nice. We did get them in black. He offered offered us whatever color we wanted. We both said, obviously, black. And so it's good for evening wear. The other colors, it looks more like a camping knife. Mm -hmm. Like getting the black one, just in terms of the look of it, you know, I'm gonna wear this when I'm out on the town. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay, so um, so obviously we just unboxed these, and so we haven't had a chance to put them to use yet, but 
we'll do that and come back when there's some time to see how well they've they've survived our shops and our you know our daily use so look for that video coming in a while so that's it for now oh i wanted to say you'll have seen nico in a couple of other of my videos uh, you may have watched us chop down a tree together i just want to say that that tree was successfully chopped down our technique we may have got a little flack for from people who are actually people who chop down trees with frequency but the tree is down there may have been a more efficient way to do it but safety was really the the primary in the process yeah, me at least. Yeah, he's because I was on the ladder. Yeah, that was a project that I was in on. Uh, I do a lot of behind the scenes stuff. Behind the scenes works for me. You'll you'll have seen his name popping up in the descriptions of some of my videos as because he was holding the camera or we did prep together and things like that. So uh, he's he's got a house that he's fixing up. It's like a 1950s ranch, 59, style, 1959 yeah. ranch style house. So he's doing work similar to mine. And you can follow Nico. You can uh, you check him out on uh, on Twitter. We at Nico underscore Rosso, R-O-S-S-O, -S or uh, you can check me at my website is NicoRosso.com where you'll find out that not only do I do the home improvement and the design, but I'm a, check this out. I write romance novels. I'm currently working on uh, romantic suspense novels. Uh, so uh, book two is about to launch soon. So you know, check what, those out. If what's you're the in. title of book two? Book two is One Minute to Midnight, and it is part of the Black Ops Automatic line of romantic suspense. Book one came out to uh, some good critical acclaim. People dug it. So say that bigger. Big critical acclaim for Countdown to Zero Hour, book one of Black Ops Automatic. Yeah. And uh, if you like romance and you like suspense, a lot of action, a lot of romance, it's good stuff. Yeah, so that's that's out there, that's what I do. And what I do is I review tools, I fix up this house, and I make videos like this. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and that'll help me out. Subscribe to my channel and you'll see me doing more stuff like this and fixing up the house. On Twitter. Yeah, follow me on social media. The links to all my social stuff is down in the description and you'll see stuff that doesn't end up as videos. And in the meantime, thank you, and we'll see you next time. How was that? That was good. That was good. Nice. He doesn't blow it up. <laughs>